Hey brothers and sisters, I just wanted to revisit why I started Rapture Watchers. I have a video that I made in February of 2016 that was kind of explaining the dreams that I had and it was one of my first videos. I didn't have a lot of YouTube subscribers at the time, but I just wanted to revisit this video and it's probably not that professional or that good quality or whatever because I was really new to this. But I just wanted to share this again because I was just thinking about how amazing it is, how God answered my prayers and woke me up and then had this feeling of, I need to create a Facebook page and then I need to create a YouTube channel. It's like, it's like, it's amazing how God is waking us all up and then having us sound the alarm in these last days. He's taking this knowledge increase that we have in this world with the internet and everything like that and he's turning it around and making it for his good. While there's a lot of bad stuff on the internet and things like that, he is flipping it around and making it for his good, for his purpose. And um, yeah, I just wanted to revisit this. I might every once in a while pause it and talk, um, but for now I'm just going to let it play through and and if I feel the need to say something, I will. If not, I don't know. I, I haven't watched this in a while, so I'm just going to watch it through. And if I have something to say, I will pause it and uh, and I'll let you know that it's uh, me currently speaking. But uh, as of now, this next clip that you're going to see, this is from February 2016. And it was talking about, I think, October 2015 is what it was talking about. October, September, something like that. All right. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video on why I started Rapture Watchers. Uh, today I got a message from one of the girls that I chat with quite often, a fellow Rapture Watcher, and she told me about this amazing dream. Um, a lot of you probably saw that today, that post, and I thought to myself, I think, I feel like God's putting it on my heart to share these two dreams that led me to Rapture Watchers today. So the first thing I'm going to read is from Numbers 12, 6. And the Lord said to them, Now listen to what I say. If there were prophets among you, I, the Lord, would reveal myself in visions. I would speak to them in dreams, but not with my servant Moses. Of all my house, he is the one I trust. I speak to him face to face clearly and not in riddles. He sees the Lord as he is. Now I found with one of my dreams, or actually both my dreams, it was kind of like he spoke to me in riddles. Like I had to figure it out afterwards, and I'll get to that after. And now in Acts 2.17, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So I'm just going to start with what I prayed, and I'm going to tell you quickly what I prayed the night before. Um, the first part of my prayer was, thank you, Lord, so much for the wisdom and knowledge you've blessed me with um, these last few months. And then after that, um, I prayed a second time. And this time I said, I'm sorry that I don't 100% believe in the rapture. Some Christian pastors believe in it and some don't. And I believe 100% in your word. I just don't believe in man's interpretation. All right, before I continue, I just want to give you a little background on why I prayed that prayer. Basically, I was getting really close to God. I had watched this Robert Breaker video. My mom had sent me a Robert Breaker video. She said, you have to watch this, Nikki. You have to see um, basically what's going on in the world. So I'm like, okay, mom, I'll watch it. I watched it, and it was the one where it said, what will happen September 23rd, 2015. So I watched it and I was just amazed because I had in the past seen like the animals dying off and the sounds in the sky. That was like around 2012 and it kind of woke me up, but it didn't wake me up enough. And then I watched that and I just became really, um, I just had this thirst for knowledge and I started reading my Bible again and I just, just really got into the word. And so the reason I said that I don't 100% believe in the rapture is because my mom taught me that there was a rapture when we were younger. And then later on, she talked to um, a family friend, an older gentleman who she really respected, and he told her, oh, no, there's not going to be a rapture. And she's like, oh. And, and she had so much confidence in this man that she just thought, oh, well, then it must be true. He goes to church every Sunday. And, you know, she didn't really educate herself on it at the time. So then we went through this 
stage of, okay, maybe there's not going to be a rapture. And then later on, we decided to educate ourselves. We decided to actually look into this because we were just kind of blindly following what others would tell us, like when I was little and when my mom was younger. But then he just woke us up and really had us have a passion for learning about this stuff. And that is when we realized the truth. So that is why I prayed that I don't 100% believe in the rapture. Um, the first part of my prayer was, thank you, Lord, so much for the wisdom and knowledge you've blessed me with um, these last few months. And then after that, um, I prayed a second time. And this time I said, I'm sorry that I don't 100% believe in the rapture. Some Christian pastors believe in it and some don't. And I believe 100% in your word. I just don't believe in man's interpretation. And later that night, this is the dream that I had. I'm just going to read it out because I wrote it. So uh, it was October 5th, 2015. I was staring at the clouds. First, I saw the clouds take on the shape of peacock feathers. I thought to myself, I should research or Google that and see if there's significance. Then I saw an eye form. I thought to myself, the all-seeing eye. Then an archway formed, a man, Jesus, um, I knew it was Jesus in the dream, I didn't see his face though, standing in it. Beyond him were vibrant colors. I raised my arms and began to lift from my bed. I reached halfway up before I woke up. I said in my dream, I should research this, I should Google this to see if there's significance. So, when I researched it, it said, Peacock was first mentioned in the Bible in King Solomon. He prayed this prayer. I'm a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart. And I just prayed something similar to that last night. I prayed, thank you so much for the wisdom and understanding you've blessed me with. And uh, okay, so then it goes, that is written in King Solomon where the peacock is first mentioned. Okay, so then peacock is an ancient Christian symbol. I did not know this. Christians used to have the peacock symbol on their tombs. Peacocks resemble everlasting life. The eyes on the feathers represent the all-seeing eye of God. In my dream, I saw an eye take form, and I thought the all-seeing eye. I had no preconceived notions about peacocks, and that's how I know that dream was from the Lord, for comfort. Later, oh, I forgot this part. <laughs> I'm just reading this from a book. Later, I had an envelope of biblical research. I slid it in my Bible, opened it uh, the next day, um, I, I opened the Bible to where, you know, the envelope was, and uh, I opened it to King Solomon. The verse with the peacock was on that page. So I, I kind of highlighted that. I thought that was super cool that I just slid it in my Bible, and there it was, that exact same verse. And I forgot to mention back then that it I really felt it on my heart, like I have to open the Bible to where that envelope was. I felt God placing it on my heart. I'm like, where? I wonder where I slid the envelope. Like, I wonder what's on that page. I opened it up, and then literally I see King Solomon, and I, right then I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And then I continue reading on, and the verse with the word peacock was there. And it's, it was just unbelievable. It was like more confirmation. After that dream on October 16, 2015, I had a dream where I was on the brink of waking up. And before I woke up, I heard R-I-C-E, R-I-C-E. Look up the abbreviation for R-I-C-E. And this was repeated many times in my dream. And so I woke up and I researched it, uh, rest, ice, compression, elevate. Um, so then I focused on each word and the first thing I did was I looked each one up in the dictionary and uh, so I just typed it in online and since then I haven't been able to find the exact results that I found back then but I do, I have found some similar results but for rest, I'm just going to name off a few interesting things. For rest, it says noun, rest, the remaining part of something. Uh, what do you do with the rest of your life? The remaining people or things, the others. Synonyms for rest, remainder, number, quantity, others, those left, remains. And uh, there's a uh, verb, rest, third person present. It says remain or left in a specified condition. And the example is you may be rest assured he is there. 
And then there is one of a problem or subject be left without further investigation, discussion, or treatment. So I feel like be left without further investigation or discussion. We are constantly discussing the rapture. We're constantly uh, investigating it. We're constantly warning people. And these people who don't accept Jesus are going to be left without further investigation or discussion. So for ice, I looked up ice and uh, uh, idioms on ice, slang, assured of success or victory, in a state of ambiance or readiness. And ambiance in the law is the position of being without or waiting for an owner or claimant. And we are obviously waiting for our creator. And it says in reserve or readiness, away from public notice or activity. Uh, for compression, we've got a force that tends to shorten something decreasing its volume to condense shorten or abbreviate and the word abbreviate was in my dream and the example was the book was compressed by 50 pages um, and then then there's elevate and the synonyms for elevate and this one's really cool is ascent creation advancement preference promotion rise upgrade and upgrading and it says the height of a place an act or result of lifting or raising someone and it also says, or something. And so that sounds like the rupture to me. Uh, the angular distance of something as a celestial object above the horizon. And a celestial object is a natural object which is located outside of Earth's atmosphere, such as a sun, moon, asteroid, planet, or star. And an act or instance of elevating. So that is what I found in the dictionary. Uh, some of what I found in the dictionary. And after that, I decided to look each word up uh, the, with the biblical meaning and I found some really wonderful interesting things there too. So after looking up R-I-C-E in the dictionary online I looked up each word um, in its biblical meaning and for each word I found uh, for rest I found I think 48, 48 verses on rest and for Elevate, 56 Bible verses, and my favorite for rest was, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. And and I know that I go back to that verse a lot because there are so many wicked schemes out there. The Mark of the Beast technology is out there. Um, there's the agenda where you know, our children are transitioning from boy to girl, girl to boy. On the Disney Channel, we have good is the new bad, bad is the new good song just blatantly playing for our children to hear. And so there's an there's an agenda out there, and it's a very evil, corrupt agenda, agenda, and it's straight from the devil. And we know that. We Christians know that. And when you go, and when I went through Elevate, um, most of the verses are about God's grace, about Jesus, about his forgiving of our sins, our past, present, and future sins. So I'll link those below so that you can read them for yourselves because it makes no sense for me to just sit here and read them all to you because there's a lot of them. Uh, I just wanted to share this message with you guys. I love you all so much. This is this is why I started Rapture Watchers. We need to get that message out there. And God had shown me uh, with the peacock dream. I mean, there's the rapture. Then he threw in the no preconceived notion of the peacock and the eye. I didn't know about those things. Um, the all-seeing eye of God. I even said it in my dream, the all-seeing eye and how it was connected to the peacock. I couldn't have made that up myself. I couldn't have thought of that myself. R-I-C-E. I didn't even know what that was going to be when I googled them and, and I saw them on the dictionary and they were all talking about basically the others left behind all those kind of words and and it was just really fascinating to me. God speaks to us in riddles just like he said he would and um yeah, I just, just thought I'd send this message out there, and uh, God bless you all. And the last time that I submitted this video, there were a few comments saying, the all-seeing eye, that's Illuminati, and yes, I'm aware of that. At that time, when I was when I had the dream, I was watching a lot of those kind of conspiracy theory kind of videos, so I probably did have that all-seeing eye um in my head like I knew those words but I didn't know that it was the all-seeing eye of God which is what the next day when I was researching it I saw the all-seeing eye of God with the peacock so that was really cool so yeah I'm aware that the all-seeing eye is a Illuminati thing because I had watched this one video back then and when it was 
it was talking about um, these hidden messages in what movie was that? Um, Back to the Future, how they had the 9-11 and they had all-seeing eye and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, I was aware of the, the all-seeing eye being a term for the Illuminati, but it's cool how God made that. Again, God makes everything that is bad for his good. And you, and then basically when I was doing my research, the all-seeing eye of God, adding the words of God to the end of it, and it was the peacock. So that was really cool. I'm just going to end my video with why and how I started Rapture Watchers. So after this dream, actually prior to this dream, I was on a group chat in Messenger with my mom and my aunt, and every day we would send each other prophecy updates and uplifting scripture and all these things. We were building each other up, edifying one another, and we would submit things to our own personal Facebooks, but every once in a while, maybe it would get one or two likes. The people on our Facebook were not um, interested, probably just scrolling right past it, and I'm like, after having that dream, I knew that I needed to reach more people. and. So anyways, I still post things to my own personal Facebook, but I also wanted to reach and encourage my brothers and sisters out there. So after that dream, I told my mom and my aunt, what do I do? Do I send, do I like, do I upload this to a, like, do I make a YouTube channel, upload it and then share it with somebody? Do I write out my dream and share it with somebody? I didn't know what to do. And then God really put it on my heart after the second dream that I had to start my own Facebook page. Basically what I had to do was what I am sharing with my aunt and my mom and what my aunt and my mom are sharing with me. I need to take that information and I need to put it on Facebook and that is where I was going to edify others. And then my brother-in-law said, have you ever heard the expression preaching to the choir? And I said, yes, I understand that. But as I am posting and encouraging my brothers and sisters, they are going to share it to their walls. And when they share it to their walls, unbelievers will see it there. So I want to reach as many people as I can. So this has been a passion of mine for the last two years. And I just thank each and every one of you for being on this journey with us. God bless you all. I love you all so much.